What's going on YouTube? It's the Grain Shiz back again. Back again with this. This thing's pretty big. It's got a lot of girth. You know what it is. This is a PSA submission from 2021. Submitted these in March of 2021 under the value TCG category. Um, basically, they got these clocked into PSA about a month later. Here we sit, 2022 of July. A whole, what, 12 plus 4, 16-ish months later? 16-ish months later. My first big, the largest PSA submission I've ever done. Uh, had absolutely, probably very little clue what I was doing. I was just getting into grading. I had submitted and received some CGC slabs by the time I sent this one, but there was definitely a clear, clear, and we will see the grades here very shortly. Um, I did not know what the F I was doing. So let's get right into my PSA return. So this is a assortment of a bunch of different TCGs, a bunch being a handful. Um, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, World of Warcraft, all the good stuff. I think there's modern Pokemon, a few modern Pokemon cards that might not be mine. It might be my brother-in-law's, so I'm just going to hop right into it. This is an awesome card, so... Adding the birds to my collection, my Zapdos PSA 10 collection. Uh, cool. Glad to, glad I never purchased one for whatever that is, $30 or so. Here's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Harpy's Feather Duster, PSA 9. Uh, was pretty sad, pretty sad to not get the 10 on this one. Beautiful card, though. I bought a $200 Yu-Gi-Oh collection, um, and that's where this had come from. A hand, a, pretty much all of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards you'll see in this lot came from a $200 collection I purchased. Was absolutely insane. I'll let you know if there are some that weren't. This one came with it. PSA Harpy's Pet Dragon, Forbidden Memories. This is a terrible grade. PSA 6, Alpha the Magnet Warrior, Junk Slab number 1. And if you would, please, comment down below in the video what your favorite card is. Whether it's a World of Warcraft card, a Yu-Gi-Oh card. What's your favorite art in this video? This one slaps pretty hard, not gonna lie. So, yeah. I, I pretty much threw the house at them for World of Warcraft. And I wanted a PSA 10 Infernal, and I got completely hosed, probably because of the centering left to right. But this card absolutely slapped for me back in the day. So that's a rip. PSA 8 Archives Extended Art Foil Leroy Jenkins. Really, really hard to pull those cards out of packs, so I graded all of them. I've been, I was purchasing these for a long time, and here we sit. I own the population now because none basically have ever been graded until now. There was one, one. So you'll see this is 2010. They reprinted this card in 2010, but it still had the same rarity to be pulled. Oh, snaps, that was a PSA 10. Yeah, so this had the same rarity as the original release from Heroes of Azeroth, which was the first set. Um, but this, they extended art and made it a foil. And I'll I'll show you some of the non-foil ones that I graded. But this is a PSA 10 Leroy Jenkins. Really awesome. This is a freaking banger.
just like uh, I started this YouTube video or YouTube channel opening boxes of World of Warcraft, chasing the Leroy Jenkins from the original set and opened seven boxes and I never pulled one. So that's uh, that's just going to give you an idea how, how hard it is to pull some of those cards. Gaia the Fierce Knight Unlimited 2002 Legend of Blue Eyes PSA 9. Not bad, not bad. So you could probably tell what this is. This is one of the God cards. PSA 10, Wing Dragon of Ra. From the Game Boy Advance. This is insane. This came from that $200 collection. The condition of those cards, in like they should not be this good. I don't know if any of them were in sleeves. There was literally just a handful of them in sleeves. That's a crazy card. Dark Magician <laughs> Yowzer PSA 4. That is atrocious. Is it really that bad? Yeah, the corners are all bent. Like, what was I doing, dude? I was just full send mode. Just unlimited Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are not worth a whole bunch. But they look freaking dope. In a PSA 10, they'd still be worth something decent. Like that Thousand Dragons, not worth more than $100 at all. Tyrant Dragon, first edition, PSA 8. It's, it's a sweet looking card. But it's a PSA 8, man. Yamada Dragon. First edition, I was really hoping for a 10 on this one. I absolutely, I love, this is my favorite set, I'd say. Legacy of Darkness, Spear Dragon, Yadagarasu, Fiber Jar. Endless bangers. Beta the Magnet Warrior, PSA 8. And Top Sun, forgot I graded some Top Sun Bluebacks. Um, got absolutely boned on some of these, you'll see. I did check the grades. Um, so, yeah. It's not all gravy all the time. So this is a pretty nice Legend of Blue Eyes. It's kind of faded, which I kind of like. Definitely an original 2002 Blue Eyes. PSA 8, though. Pretty cool. That's I don't own a single one of those. So cool card to add to the collection. PSA 10 Leroy Jenkins and Wing Dragon Ara out of that box. Damn! Think we've peaked, boys. Think we've peaked. So more World of Warcraft. Another Leroy Jenkins. PSA 9. Get destroyed. So this is the card I've, I was chasing in the booster box. The non-holo. This was the first release of this card. 2006. This is a dead TCG. But... Same card, basically, that was used in Hearthstone. Right here. Which is why I had such a connection to it. So it's basically these three variants that exist. There is a, a fourth variant. So there's a hollow, short print, hollow extended art, non-hollow, which is the original release. There is a non-hollow of this, but it was basically an EA... Um, promo, it's like a Black Star promo. There's a bajillions of them. Another Hollow, PSA 9. PSA 9. PSA 8. PSA 8. Am I really getting 110? PSA 9. This is a non Hollow. So this is the original Leroy Jenkins. Very cool. I literally I bought every single one of these I could find. For the matter of a few months. This is pretty cool. Lady Jaina Proudmore. This is uh they ended up churning Jaina into a your hero inside of Hearthstone. So that was pretty cool. That's a PSA 10. Likely a pop one. PSA 7. PSA 7. These are hard to grade too with a black borders on the back. It's tough. PSA 9, more Top Sun. PSA 5, Snorlax. Get slapped. PSA 7, Jinx. PSA 6. So I'm just... You could see my uh, 
crazy though, man. These are tough to grade. Also, like I said, I had I was very green in PSA 5 Cubone in grading some cards, but uh you could definitely say top son, I was a rookie at grading those. At the very least, I'd call myself a rookie. Now, having it under my belt and getting absolutely banged by uh, PSA here on my Top Sun Bluebacks, I uh, live and learn. You know? Like, I'd be afraid to ever sell something as near mint because I don't apparently know what I'm looking at. But Red Eyes Black Dragon from LOB PSA 6. Kind of brutal. Freaking front looks clean as hell, though. This card looks so nice, man. Timo Shade Step. Graded this for my friend Tim. He played this card. This was his hero back in the day when we played uh, this TCG. PSA 7, Blueback, Execute, Lapras, PSA 6. Like, consistently trash. These are going to be going into some $20 boxes, I'd say, or something like that at the uh, CollectCon. We'll see. These are the type of things you don't usually see a whole lot of at cons, that's for sure. You see a whole lot of modern, a whole lot of CGC. So somebody just sitting there with some uh, tops on blue backs would be pretty cool. PSA 7 oddish. Pidgey PSA. I literally thought some of these were mint. Like, <laughs> I was... I was shooting for like nines and up on these, so that's how bad I am. But again, I'm not even going to say it again. I'm, I'm, I'm garbage. So this is a really bad grade. I thought this boy was minty. It's why I sent it. Got to be something going on. But I never knew this card existed back when I played Heroes of Azeroth because that's how hard... Is to pull cards that have the epic rarity, the purple. Um, I didn't pull this until I cracked my seven boxes, and I never knew a Hearthstone card existed. But here it is, pretty cool, and it's got the same kind of logo as the uh, online video game. Very cool. Scratch off. So I graded a handful of these cards. Really cool. These are loot cards, so you basically scratch these off to get in game. Characters, PSA 9, PSA 9, PSA 8, and a PSA 9 Landry long shot. No 10s, man. Kind of sad, not going to lie. That Hearthstone card destroyed me. PSA 7 Horsey. Gyarados got a 5 <laughs> and a 7. I only graded Bluebacks. All these are Bluebacks. I was buying uh, what I what I guess suspected were near mint collections off eBay uh, to fulfill my binder, and these were basically the duplicates that apparently are not near mint. So here we sit. PSA ten, amazing rare Celebi, worth what fifteen dollars obelisk the tormentor psa 10 absolute beast this card is not very cheap i want to say it was 500 plus dollars i want maybe a little bit higher 600 plus i don't remember exactly but the secret rare variants of those are not cheap PSA 10, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Let's go. It's crazy that the other two <laughs> got a 6 and an 8. So I guess we're just keeping it with the evens. 6, 8, 10, you know what I mean. And why would, like, what was I doing? Did I not grade these all next to each other? Uh, I did. It's really weird. They're, like, all in separate boxes. They just mix these up or something? What's going on? Valkyrion, Magnet Warrior, PSA 9. Acid Trap Hole, PSA 9 from Dark Doula Stories. Sinister Serpent, PSA 10. 
This card got destroyed by the Errata. Perfect. Love this card, though. PSA 10 is really cool. Exodia Dark Duel of Stories 4. Jesus. Siriaru, PSA 4. Really bad as well from Dark Duel of Stories. Another Dark Duel of Stories Salamander and a PSA 9, though. What else we got in here? This one I graded because it was misprinted. You can see the title, the name is like really glitched out, essentially. It's the only reason I graded it. PSA 7. Pretty cool, though. Serpent Knight Dragon, Unlimited Magic Ruler, wrecked. Legend of Blue Eyes, left leg of the Forbidden One in a PSA 9. Right leg, or left arm. PSA 9. PSA 4. That ain't going to complete no set. PSA 9. So we got two arms and a leg in a PSA 9. That's kind of nice. And another arm. Same arm. So we got like three arms and a leg. And another leg. We got both legs. Dang, that ain't bad. That's pretty cool. So I'm only just missing the head in a PSA 9. That's pretty sick. And these are all original 2002s. Not reprints. Damn, that was, those are definitely going on the PC. I'll get rid of the extra and the PSA 4 head. That's pretty cool. Some Yu-Gi-Oh! PSA 10 Pikachu V. Wrecked. This is what I suspect is a lot of the crap in the backlog. This is my brother-in-law's card. This was mine, though. PSA 10 Jesse and James. Really cool. And a Charizard PSA 10 Vivid Voltage. At least I know how to grade modern cards. All of those were 10s. All the modern Pokemon cards have been 10s. That's good. Right? Or was there a 9? I can't remember. Celebi was a 10. The birds were a 10. But again, reminder, let me know what your favorite art was down below. Get entered to win one of these slabs from this return. PSA 10 Kyogre. That one's worth probably a dollar. Executor. What was the highest tops on Blueback? It was probably like an 8. I think that was the highest. So some base... Tops, <laughs> regular foil, PSA 9. That's probably a decent grade. PSA 5, so bad. Nine tails. Uh, this one's really cool. They spelt tails wrong. Nine tails. It's not spelt correctly. And they don't even, they just, <laughs> they just copied the, the text. And they don't even write error or nothing, so that's cool. Abra, PSA 6, total value there, big time. Another Leroy Jenkins. Here's probably a run of some more Leroy's. PSA 8, PSA 7, PSA 9. No 10s, I don't think, in the non hollow. Diglett, PSA 6, get wrecked. Venazor, PSA 6. At least I'm consistently getting 6s. Yeah, that 9 I got on the tops card was not bad. Here's another Tails. Raichu, PSA 8. Blastoise, PSA 5. Like, literally, I was sending these in thinking they were some of the better conditions ones. Especially this one. I looked at a stack of these Pikachus and was like, yeah, that one's mint. What is that grade? A 6? Get wrecked. Squirtle, PSA 7. Not even a shot. PSA 7 War Turtle. Wowzer. Last box. Last, last box magic here. Don't even know what's left. I know a few of these cards, actually. Because I was waiting for them and I haven't seen them. But this has been pretty awesome, man. Have not, like I said, this is probably my largest PSA return because shortly after this, PSA shut their doors and everything went to CGC. 
we all know how that goes. PSA 9 Rayquaza punished. Absolutely punished. That's a really bad card. So maximum gold, blue eyes, white dragon, 2020 release. These cards are pretty crazy looking. I wanted a play set of these, is what I wanted in 10. But apparently this modern card got a 9, so that's cool. And we're still getting punished with tops. PSA 8. Here's a PSA 10 blue eyes. And another one. So we got two of them, but they couldn't give me the trifecta in consecutive certs. They just had to punish me and give me one freaking nine. Those are cool cards. 200 plus dollars a piece. Mechanical Chaser Tournament Pack 3 Super Rare. Uh, the Ultra Rare in a PSA 8 is easily over $1,000. This card is not near that. Crush Card Virus. This got a PSA 6. So this will probably go to CGC. Because that's pretty rough grade. It's probably a ding somewhere or something. PSA 6. This card was $200 when it came out in Gold Series. And then got banned shortly thereafter. This is mo one of my favorite cards of all time. I would love to own the Shonen Jump version of this card. But it's $40,000. So I'll stick around. This card now is still probably around $200 near mint. PSA 6 is pretty rough. Not going to lie. Mechanical Chaser PSA 5. So there's a handful of these I might send to CGC. Like those Mechanical Chasers. Yeah. The three Mechanical Chasers maybe. Might get a little bit higher grade. If there's like a surface ding, I'll have to check them. But that looks pretty freaking clean there. I don't know. I'll have to do a deep inspection on these. Those are pretty bad grades on those chasers. Besides the one, we got an eight. Shadowless PSA 7 Yellow Cheeks. This is when this card had some value. Red Cheeks PSA 7. Red Cheeks PSA 9. That ain't bad. PSA 10 Lugia, not even a staff. Diglett, PSA 9 Shadowless, get destroyed. That's probably my best condition one. Shadowless, Yellow Cheeks, get destroyed. PSA 7, PSA 5, just make the suffering. PSA 9, this is the highest tops, I think. Growlithe, not bad. PSA, PSA 4, though. What were you doing? End of six. Totally worth it. Anyways, that's it. Longest, longest video I've had in a while. So hopefully, if you made it this far, you're amazing. Greatly appreciate it. Just to show me that you made it this far, tell me what this game is right here that I'm pointing at. And I'll know who the real ones are. Appreciate you guys all. Hit the like button on the way out. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>